When you define your uh, templates, there is obviously the element sheet. This is where most of the action takes place. But there's also these supporting sheets, the subjects, different subjects you can be time studying at the same time. The header information, there's always one header uh, for each study. Uh, the data, each observation that you make can have additional data associated with it. And supporting notes. Now, all of these sheets are individually passed down into the PDA. Uh, so if I bring up the, uh, the device here, Right. You can see here, for instance, my subjects, that's the subject button you see right here, SUB. So if I touch that, there you see all the different subjects you see listed here. Go back here. And if you want to do the header information, you click here on the header. We'll move to the header here. We'll bring up the device and let's look at the header information. So we touch that. And again, everything in this example in the header area, there's one header for each study. Whatever's in row one becomes the prompts. Whatever is available in the drop downs in the columns is now available to you here. So if I click on the, the manager over here, you can see here I've got Owens, Lowry, Bell, and Smythe, exactly the same as I have here. Um, now, if we actually make entries, so if we're coming in, we start the time study, we can tap on the additional data icon right here. And now you're going to move over to the data screen here. Right? So here you can see, again, it's the same idea. Whatever's in row one becomes a prompts quantity machine material, right? There's also a note sheet down here that contains additional data here as well. Works the same way, the prompts, and then whatever's in the columns is available data. So if I touch on the machines, for instance, right? You can see here the machines that are presented are the ones that are presented in here. Now, uh, if I come back out and I go to the notes up at the top here, I can switch to my notes over here. You'll see here if I tap on the notes in the device, um, I have all the options here that presented to me, presented over here as well. Okay, so the question is, how do we edit these? These are all done in Excel. If we want to edit them on the PDA, how do we do it? Well, we do it, there's always an edit button down at the bottom here. So you can click on the edit here, and then you can select the type. So you saw the four different areas we're talking about. So if I click on this, you can see they're exactly the same. The subject, the header, the data, the notes. The subjects, the header, the data, the notes. So these are all available for you to edit directly on the PDA as well. So for instance, if I wanted to change my subjects, I can tap on the subjects. And if I go back to my subject screen in the background here, here are the different subjects we have. Bring up the PDA. Let's move over this unrelated data here. And you can see here I've got operator one, two, three, and so forth, all the way down here. And I can scroll up and down. So let's say I wanted to remove the fort lifts. So I can touch that and I just delete it. Am I sure I want to delete Fort Lift 1? Yes. I'm going to do the same for Fort Lift 2. Yes. I'm going to see the same for Fort Lift 3. Yes. I can edit thing, anything I've already got. So I could click on this one here where it says Machine 1. I can edit that and perhaps decide to uh, uh, change the text here and make this uh, a press. Right. And select that, put it in there. So now we've changed that one in there. So you can edit them, you can add them, you can move them up and down to reorganize them. So you want to move that up, you just touch the up and it'll move it up and down or whatever. You can move them around, okay? So you can do anything you'd like here to move the data around as you wish here. Uh, switch to the other one, you can do the same for any other one. So you go to the, the data area, right? So you can select the prompts in the data. So let's say you're looking at machines and here are the different machines that you have and you can add delete and move them around here. So this is how you actually edit the supporting data in real time now on the device. You can hit the back button and that'll take you back until the main data collection area is right here.